is the end of OTAs. Training camp! What's up, Finn fans? So, today is the end of OTAs. Um, they're gonna get a little break before training camp starts. Um, I think that's July, sometime in like the beginning to middle of July. Well, essentially, today's video is gonna be a short one because the OTAs today was a short one. Um, a lot of players sat out. You had um, Isaiah Ford sat out. He had a compression sleeve on his leg, but I'm pretty sure they were just like, sit out, it's no big deal. Josh Sitton sat out, ha, that's a tongue twister. Again, probably because they, you know, there's no need. Frank Gore, Kenyon Drake sat out, again, no need, and um, Branch and Cameron Wake sat out, because again, there's no need. So let's get right into it, or as I like to say, let's get started. So it starts off with a nice Bollage 30 yard run, and then we see a read option from Ryan Tannehill for five yards. So yes, it is still being called, and it is still in the playbook. So, it makes me happy. Um, I don't want to do it, and don't do it as much as you used to do, because the knee still scares me. Then Gotchow gets a nice stop on Balage in the backfield. I think that's how you say his name. You guys are telling me it's not Balage, it's more Balage. So I'm gonna call him Balage from now on. Again, if that's wrong, let me know below. Then David fails with a 45 yard touchdown bomb to Jakeem Grant. Um, I got some news about that later at the end. Tan Hill with a touchdown bomb to Danny Amendola. They're getting great chemistry one on one. But again, Tan Hill doesn't like his wide receivers and he doesn't spend time with his wide receivers. So that does it that's don't don't look too much into that. AJ Derby with a nice 25 yard catch after that. Um the offense is getting rolling in, in today's OTAs, which is good. It's a good way to end um, OTAs is have the offense churning it out, making some big plays. We see Tor I think his name is Tori Michter. That's what I, I guess that's his name. Cornerback, he breaks up a pass from Jakeem Grant, and then Jakeem Grant calls for a flag. And then Jordan Phillips gets in Jakeem Grant's face, and then the whole defense yells, Get mad! Um, they were in the bubble today, and a lot of people saying that when they play in the bubble, it's like a giant party, which is pretty cool. Especially because it probably feels like the last day of class, being that they're going to have a nice little break once OTAs is done. Then we have Michael, Michael Jenkins with a nice sideline catch from Bryce Petty. And then to end off OTAs, we get a bomb of a touchdown from Ryan Tannehill to Devontae Parker. So it's a good way to end the OTAs. It seems like the OTAs has been filled with a ton of um, defensive days, whereas now it seems like today was mostly offense and big plays. As of right now at 1.30, I don't think there is um, any press conferences. Uh, I have some quotes from Adam Gase and one from Ryan Tannehill. Um, I'm actually making this video early because I'm going on a trip to the enemy's ter territory. I'm going up to Boston for the weekend. I already have a video prepared for Saturday for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's probably going to cause a ton of controversy. <laughs> um, but so far, Tunsil said that he, the one thing that it seems like the whole offense missed last year was Tannehill's um, leadership. Which again, I'm going to keep bringing this up, that's a no-brainer to me because you had Jay Cutler last year who just played for $10 million and didn't give a shit. Um, Tannehill's leadership and his um, drive definitely rubs off on other players. Um, you could see that from 2016 when he went 7-1 and one and everyone was playing for him. But then Gase said that uh, David Fales and Jakeem Grant have you know, connected on deep bombs at least five times on the OTAs, which... I'm telling you, watch out for Jakeem Grant. I know he's short, but like if you, that catch during the Patriots game where he got up there and his speed, watch out for him. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be nice having these speedy receivers with Albert Wilson and Jakeem Grant. It's gonna be very very nice to watch. And then finally, Adam Gase said that um, once training camp gets going, once training camp gets here, that Jakeem Grant and Albert Wilson will be playing more time with Ryan Tannehill, which is good for Jakeem Grant because there was that whole thing about you know is he going to be the fifth receiver and will he make the team he's making the team if Adam Gates is saying that type of stuff but yeah this video is short and sweet um last days of OTA was probably a very easy short one um now I'm gonna get to the comment of the day this one comes from North Ender and he asked me is Wake a Hall of Famer yes I do think Cameron Wake is a Hall of Famer um his stats just show it like is he a first ballot? I don't know, but I think he should be because out of 
the eight years he's been playing with the Dolphins, he's had one, two, three, four years where he didn't have 10 or more sacks. And that one year was his first year. He had 5.5 sacks. Other than that, it's been eight, eight, and seven. And then he's had 14, 15, 11, 11, and 10. 0.5 last year. So yeah, I think he's a Hall of Famer. I think he's got maybe three more years left in him. Um, Jason Taylor played for about 15 years. Uh, so I, I don't doubt that Cameron Wake can play for another three, three, four years. Um, I'd like to, for it to be on the Dolphins. That would make me super happy and it would make sense for them to just re-sign the dude. But that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to comment below, ask me questions, or just comment in general, and it might make it on comment of the day. Uh, don't forget, like usual, to follow me on Twitter. Um, I tweet out a bunch of things. I tweet out a bunch of things about practice. I tweet out a bunch of other things, funny things. I just tweet a lot. Um, don't forget to follow my second channel. I would really appreciate it if you could go check it out. If you like it, subscribe. And if you subscribe, let us know in a comment in a video saying, hey, I subscribed or hey, I love your guys' videos, or hey, you're stupid, it don't matter. As long as you subscribe, I will send you a free wristband. Like this video, because it lets me know that you like this video, and subscribe if you're new. If you are new and you just recently subscribed, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy what you see, and I hope you enjoy the future things I put out. But other than that, like usual, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you guys Saturday. Fins up. Essentially, uh, Jarvis Landry was on NFL Network and he they asked him have you talked to Tannehill or has Tannehill talked to you since you've gone to the Cleveland Browns and of course everyone wants to know because of the last thing he said